Hello, hello everyone. Michelle here with La Mama. Hello. We <laughs> are here to do a what I eat in the day video vegan style. You guys know the deal. We're going to take you around, show you what we eat in a day. It's been a little hard to find the time to do this as a new mama. So having my mom here and it's a weekend so Dan can help with Graham and we're just going to be cooking. We don't have a plan. We're just going to see where the day takes us. Join us. <laughs> We're starting the day with a strawberry banana smoothie, just frozen strawberries, ripe bananas, and soy milk. Yum. And then Dan made us some amazing tofu scramble. I make tofu scramble really differently than this, but I've actually been really loving Dan's version. It's very simple. He adds in jalapenos, garlic, onions, this is the extra for tofu we use and then I love that he crumbles it up really really small so they're very fine crumbles they get nice and a little bit crispy and browned and so so yummy to spice this scramble up he adds turmeric to make it yellow some garlic powder black pepper we've got some red chili pepper flakes if you like spice and then kala namak which is black salt it has sort of an eggy sulfury taste to it um, so you can add that towards the end and it will give it that eggy flavor so good and then oh he's been serving this up on buttered sourdough toast oh you guys you guys you guys you have to try this it's so good Topping it with sriracha, as always, and some crushed black pepper, and digging in. It was a beautiful day, so loaded up Graham on my little front carrier, went for a walk, and oh God, just the blooms out there these days are so gorgeous. Look at these cool flowers. Spend more time outdoors, guys. You can social distance and go on walks, and it's a-okay and so beautiful. We also passed this little family of turkeys, little baby poults. Oh, so cute. And then a little check-in on our backyard garden and my nectarines are growing. I'm so excited, although I don't know if I'll get any before the squirrels get to them. And my basil looking good. I actually just made some fresh pesto with it. Hi guys. <laughs> Nana's watching Graham and for lunch we are making dino spaghetti. This is actually a recipe I'm recipe testing for a campaign with Pasta Billities. Awesome pasta brand. They have all these really fun shapes for any of you mamas. This little dino pasta is so, so cute. Um, so dino spaghetti. So the recipe will be coming soon to World of Vegan. So far it's really good. I've been tasting the sauce as I've been going and it's really easy. So much healthier than regular SpaghettiOs. And yummy and vegan of course. So the sauce is basically tomato sauce with some spices and some nooch for cheesiness. And then we're gonna cook up the pasta and mix it in. Yum. So pineapples. I, for the longest time, never bought pineapples because they're kind of a pain to open and cut and uh, eat. But my friend posted this cool tool that allows you to really easily cut a pineapple in a pretty cool way. So I got it, I ordered it on Amazon, and I'll show you, I'll show you what it does. It's so cool. Now I've ordered three pineapples in the past week. <laughs> oh, Graham. Okay, so here is the magical tool. I know it looks kind of weird, but it's not that big. And it's called, what is it called? That, I will link the link to it in the description field below. And what you do, you slice off the top, you stick this guy in, whoosh, and then you just twist it around and I will show you the result. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's in. Now I just jimmy rig this out and then I will show you what it looks like. Yee. All right, so I love this thing. Um, I just think it's so handy. It takes out the hard, fibrous pit. And there's like a little bit on the sides that you could 
pick out if you want to, but I think it does a pretty good job. My mom disagrees. She needs to get every single little bit of pineapple out, so she prefers just cutting it herself. But if you're really lazy like me, this is a nice option. Uh, yeah, and that's that. Can we talk about how exciting it is that fruit is finally getting exciting for kids? So cute! Are you playing with your Nana? Are you playing with your Nana, Graham? Is this your favorite toy? <laughs> For dinner, we're just gonna fry up some burgers on the stove top. Burger buns, onion, tomato, lettuce. Whatever we have in the freezer. These incognito, are these good? I can't remember. Yeah, they're Cognito. great. Very American dinner. <laughs> Chance. Here's the finished burger. Yum, with some tater tots and chance. <laughs> Good boy, Chance. <laughs> the fam has a hankering for something sweet, and the team has voted on, what are they called? Rice Krispie Treats made with Dandy's marshmallows. Dandy's are vegan marshmallows, and the recipe's really simple. It's right on the back here. I actually don't have coconut oil on the mo for, at the moment, so I'm just using um, Earth Balance vegan butter. Lots of these brown rice Krispies. You can use any type of Rice Krispies. And marshmallows, you just put in the microwave, like soften them up. They get all floofy, poofy, poofy, floofy. Mix it all together, flatten them into Rice Krispies, and it's, in a moment, gonna be done. For anyone that's not sure what poofy, floofy means, <laughs> look how satisfying. 30 second increments, mix it around, back in the microwave till it's soft. Poofty floofty. <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> yeah, give him a smile. Give him a smile, Graham. Good boy, Chance. Look at. I know that's your brother. All right, that is it for today. Thank you guys for joining me on another What I Eat in the Day adventure. Um, I'd love to hear some thoughts from you below, some things you've been eating and loving lately. I um, am closing up the night watching some Queer Eye. Great show. If your heart needs a little TLC, it is the best show to watch. Um, Dan and Graham are sleeping already. I can hang out with my mom a little bit and get some work done before I crawl in bed. Um, but the food for the day has officially wrapped. So I hope this gives you some ideas for things you can be eating. Just to note, as usual, I am not a registered dietitian. I am not a doctor. I didn't plan this meal, this day to be the perfect day of meals. I just, we just cooked up what we felt like, what we had on hand, what we needed to make. Um, so hopefully it gives you some ideas. Lots of love. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Mwah! Have a beautiful day, night, whenever you're watching. And I'll see you soon. Love ya. I get a lot of questions from you guys um, who are going vegan, want to go vegan, recently went vegan, and your parents aren't very supportive, or you're a little bit worried about talking to your parents about it, so I wanted to bring my mom here. My mom has gone through a lot of this. I went vegetarian when I was eight years old and vegan when I was in college. So mom, like, what advice do you have for kids or people whose parents maybe aren't supportive yet? How to talk to them about these things or get them 
at least support of her on board. Yeah. Well, maybe try and get your parents to understand what your reasons were for going vegan and maybe give them some books on factory farming, animal cruelty. Um, but the other thing that you can also do is help your parents understand what kind of food you can eat and what is what is vegan food to show your parents, whoever's cooking for you or with you, that there's some really delicious things out there that they will enjoy as well. I think a lot of it is um, parents want to be useful and helpful and feed their children and feed their family. And if you're taking staples away from them that they've always cooked for you, it's a good idea maybe to give them some idea what they can what to substitute, what, what you will Parents just eat. want to feel needed. Yeah. <laughs> well, we want to be able to cook for you and know what it is that you want and take away the mystery. And there's fabulous cookbooks out there. What's one of your favorites? Um, uh, there's a great vegan baking book. I can't oh, The Joy of Vegan Baking. The Joy of Vegan Baking. Colleen Patrick Jarrell. I that love below. that. You know, it's, it's tough if you can't get your parents on board with it. I know. No documentaries. That. Oh, yeah, like Forks Over Knives and Cowspiracy. What the Health, yeah. And What the Health. Um, you know, and, you know, Michelle, when she did this, uh, came home from college and announced she was vegan, I decided to start eating vegan as well just for fun and loved it and uh, improved my health. And I've been eating vegan for, I don't know, how many years now? A lot long, of years. Long time. Mostly vegan. Mostly vegan. Mostly vegan. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. See, that's yeah. the other but thing. But also being, I think, not super judgmental and not, like, give your parents some, a chance to adjust the idea to can be helpful. Anyway, thanks, Mom. You're welcome, sweetie.